amigos, welcome back to Sonny's Place. I'm Emma and today I'm going to give you a quick update on our grocery store potatoes. Let's go. Well, Matt just got done mowing back here. Uh, there's lots of like clumps of grass and stuff because the grass is getting pretty tall. So I went ahead and collected a bunch of it. So we got a nice little pile right here that I'm going to go and toss on to the potato bed. Uh, I'll go show you what that looks like. Our potato bed looks amazing. Not too shabby for store-bought potatoes, right? Organic so that they'll sprout and grow. And they look really, really awesome. So we're going to toss this grass on them and just keep piling it on as the potatoes grow. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Free potatoes, no cost to me, and it's free to grow. That's pretty awesome. That's a win-win. grass on our potatoes so they're ready to grow and keep nice and warm in there keep the moisture in there that we need we're getting some rain tomorrow so it's the perfect time to cover these up with some grass mulch and now we're just going to wait for them to pop up again from this layer of grass mulch that's gonna hey hey just had a turkey vulture fly over our chicken coop so let's go check it out make sure they're nice and safe rusty you're keeping your ladies protected Good job, boy. Good job. I just moved this uh, poultry fence over here so the ladies would have a nice little shady spot as the days get warmer. And they absolutely love it over there. But yeah, good job, Rusty. You might be a jerk, but you're a good protector. Yeah. Poultry went off to find some other prey. They're not really known to attack stuff they like usually. Easy, easy prey, which is usually stuff that's already dead, but so we've got to make sure because it was it was thinking about it well as I was saying before before that uh, turkey vulture rudely interrupted me grass mulch is going to break down slowly and like start thinning out and just kind of going down a little bit and so we'll just keep topping it as the potato plants poke through there and so they were nice and nice and big when I caught them just now and so it's a perfect time to cover them again so anyway so I'm looking forward to seeing how they do how quickly they sprout up again as we've tried before the first time that I did this method, it worked out really great. And so I was really excited to get to try it again with potatoes that someone gave me. It's always fun to get out and experiment in the garden. I'll be sure to keep posting updates of our potatoes and how they're doing. Until next time, I'm Emma from Sonny's Place, encouraging you to grow your best life. Adios. That's, a, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Today, I'm going to give you a quick update on our grocery store tomatoes. Yeah. Great for uh, grocery store tomatoes, right? Or tomatoes. That is looking pretty good, you know, 